I'm Terry J. Walker, and right here, this is my superstar, social media sidekick, Mr. Bailey Bob, and we're bringing to you a new show streaming on Mupo Entertainment called the I Am Power Hour, where everyone has a song to sing, a story to tell, and having to follow their passion to have the courage to rise and thrive. Could you be one of our next interviews as we all work together to bring love, light, unity, and connection to one another, and again, to have the courage to rise and thrive. Join me on the I Am Power Hour streaming on Mupo Entertainment. She went off and went into the Navy for over 20 years. That's right. But we're back together again. How did that happen? Well, when I wrote my book, The Resume of Life, it all came back together. Many people have come back into my life, and it has been the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. But while my friend was off running around in the Navy, she met a guy, and they hooked up, as we know. And when all of that took place, he has massive amounts of degrees. He is a five-time black belt, and he studies energy. Wait, wait, it's not five, it's six. A six-time black belt studies energy, is an engineer, and the like. So you don't want to miss this because we've got some special treats for you today to understand that we are all composed of energy. and my beautiful guests, Carla Scroggins and Dr. Michael Scroggins. And thank you so much for being here today on the I Am Power Hour. I am so happy to have you and it's so great to see you. <laughs> we are thrilled to be here, but one correction I need to make to that intro. <laughs> we are not old. <laughs> we are just well-versed and experienced and have known each other for a while. <laughs> That's right. Carla always corrects me. That's what you get when you get coaches. That's for sure. And Michael too. But you Shanghai, you Shanghai Michael a few years back. Isn't that right? That is correct. I um, while I was serving in the Navy, I was stationed in Millington, Tennessee. Believe it or not, there used to be a huge aviation training command there. And uh, Mike worked for Baptist Healthcare, and we met. Believe it or not, through a singles group before there was online dating. And so we uh, decided that we were right for each other and within six weeks we were engaged and within about seven months we were married. And oh. People told us it never lasts and it's been 27 years oh. and we made it through a pandemic. Oh, we, and we I kidnapped survived. him. I literally say I kidnapped him because I forced him to go to Maine. And that's okay. where this journey all started. He went kicking and screaming. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I grew up about it every day, but I worked with some of the best masters in, in the world, Roll 
Valeri's, uh, Fred Valeri and John Fritz, and learned Tai Chi, became a Tai Chi master, got to teach Olympic skaters in Maine. Because I refused to wear a belt all the time, they were comfortable with me. That's the only reason they taught me. I don't know anything about ice skating, but we had a ball. And you are a six-time? Six, six-degree black belt. Six-degree black belt. Wow. And I don't know a whole, whole lot about all of that, but I know that the black belt's the top of the line, but then when you even make it even more degrees, then that's even more and more top of the line. And I know that you're dealing with energy, and I know that you deal with a lot of those things. You're also an engineer, and you've got multiple degrees, and you've also been involved in helping or doing some writing with some books, and you've got your own book now coming out. What is that? It's the God Algorithm. It's in editing right now. Cindy Dale uh, gave me her editor and said, Michael, work with her. Right. And we're editing it. It's, uh, it's a description of how energy actually works in the universe and what we actually are. You know, everything that you touch, feel, and see is part of the same particles. The more particles that make up everything around us is part of everything else. So everything is a living part of what you are, and you learn and interface with it through energy. And it's just an amazing thing. You realize how much nature has to do with everything that we do every single day. The tagline for the show is the courage to rise and thrive. And the fact that we, you guys survived the pandemic is the courage to rise and survive. Rise and thrive. But over and above all of that, you know, even with you, Michael, you've done a lot of engineering work. You've done a lot of development. You have created a lot of things. And you're also <clears throat> very far into uh, quantum physics. So tell us a little bit about the quantum physics. Well, as an engineer, um, I, when I worked for BP, I found that you could um, create specific sine waves and magnetic fluxes to break up hydrates. And I got to recognizing that all matter works that way. You know, protons, neutrons, electrons, nucleus. They have a shell, they have a distance that they will interact apart so you can find these shells and you can find these holes and gaps. Well that means that the larger frequencies that don't match any of our molecules and the smaller ones, that would explain the Big Bang Theory how it moves faster and slower. You have slower moving particles behind us and faster moving in front of us. And before you say, well, but you know, we're just sitting still. No, we're on a planet moving 67,000 miles an hour. It's about 1137 feet, uh, miles per second. That's the Earth. In our solar system, we're moving 490,000 miles an hour. So as you look at the universe and moving, if you say, I'm just going to stand right here, you're never in the same place at any given time. So we're constantly moving, thriving, and energy's feeding us. We have to learn to accept and uh, interpret the energy changes. You know, energy changes constantly around us and within us. Recognize that energy. Recognize what you're feeling. And it's like Tai Chi, you learn to control your emotions, but your emotions are energy. And as you do this, it's your breathing, it's your meditation. Meditation is being able to just take a breath, breathe out, and you're in a state of meditation. It shouldn't take 40 or 50 minutes, it shouldn't take a year and a half to learn 47 moves to uh, become a Tai Chi student. It's something that you should be able to do daily. I don't want to teach somebody 18 months. I want to teach them in 30 minutes how to relax. And we're going to do some of that in, in just a few minutes as well on how to relax because so many people are so stressed out. There is so much change. We're not in the same place at the same time. We're not in the same bodies that we were born in. And, you know, Carla, you gave me that. <laughs> we're not old and we're not because the timeless changes, changeless is the essence that is actually within us all. Our bodies begin to age the minute we hit this earthly journey, but we're not in the same bodies that we were in when we were five or 15, 25, some of us a little more, <laughs> but we're not in those same bodies because they change and we change. And I'm a true advocate of this, LNT, learn new things and have the willingness to learn new things and have the willingness to maybe be a little bit more open to change. But also we have to have the understanding and awareness and that's why you're here today of helping us to understand a little bit more about the energy beings that we are 
and that everything is composed of energy and what you can do to help teach us in a matter of just a few moments of what we can do to help improve ourselves, to maybe help to overcome some of those stressful moments and to understand our emotions more effectively and more readily. And it's uh, a lot of it, we stress, and uh, rather than realizing what we're doing, uh, we talked about, uh, I want a cultural pearl. So I put something in an oyster and it doesn't like it, so it secretes this solution so it doesn't irritate it as much. Well, it's still irritating it. And it's gonna irritate it until you harvest it. And then somebody comes back and puts something in. The quicker you can get rid of that imbalance, the easier it is. If not, you're fussing with it and you're struggling with it. So, seeking the pearl, the dragon always seeks the pearl. It's knowledge and wisdom. It's finding yourself. You, you are the pearl, you're what you're looking for. So, it's amazing. I, I always wanted to be a dragon. I'm a fire monkey on the mountain in uh, Chinese, which means I irritate, aggravate, and uh, pester every other zodiac sign in Chinese. I look for ways to irritate the dragon, the tiger, uh, Carlos the rabbit, and so we get along, but I still irritate and aggravate. So. <laughs> <laughs> we all go through that, don't we? Sometimes, because I know you too, my audience does not. Sometimes I'm, 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 I'm on the phone with them or they're coaching me and I'm like, Carla, Carla, how do you do this? But with that being said, we love you. And you are loved, we are all loved, and we all have a greatness within us. And I want you to hold on because we've got some great things that Michael's going to teach us when we get right back. So we'll be back after this commercial break. know we've been under a great deal of change stress and confusion especially during these unprecedented times but michael's going to give you some pointers tips tricks and tools of the trade which i love to have and we can learn new things so i am going to turn it over to you my coach and mentor so have at it michael one of the biggest things that we take for granted is our breath breathing relaxation that you get from it. It's grounding. It's something that's a, a major part of Tai Chi, martial arts, and everything else. One of the first things you learn is how to breathe. Step out. Relax. Feel your body relax. Almost like you're sitting on a little stool. And as you breathe in, bring your hands up. Hold. After you've done this about five or 10 times, I'll normally tell somebody, think of the most aggravating thing you can think of in your life at that moment. You know, traffic, uh, husband, wife, parents, children, whatever. And I can guarantee you if we go, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in, hold, and breathe out. Before we get to the third move, you've forgotten that because you're doing three things and your mind only you know, wants to do two. Everything else shuts down and relaxes. Tai Chi moves are the same thing. When you're moving forward, large parts, breathe out. When you're moving forward, breathing out, back hands out, coming forward. This is your whole point. Breathe out again. So breathing in, out. And as you're moving, your body's telling you what to do. We get so caught up in the things of our life that when you're walking, I can not breathing in and out, you're just breathing. Breathing out of sequence tells your body, I'm in stress. 
you're telling yourself, I'm not in a comfortable state. You want to be in a comfortable state. Tai Chi is about an 18 month period. And I will, I'll show you, Terry and I played this uh, little game not long ago. If I step out, do it again. what it's supposed to be. All of it has to do with breathing, grounding, being part of the earth, and trusting what's around you. If you can trust what's around you, what you feel, you're in a comfortable state. The big thing about it is Tai Chi is to learn all of these moves. And if I can stop, breathe, and imagine I've done the entire form, I've accomplished what I need. I'm at risk. It's waking meditation. You don't have to do transcendental. This is letting your body react to nature that's perfect that's absolutely perfect and I will tell you I've been practicing this I just <laughs> built a new deck this past year on the back of my house so I get out under the stars at night and I do these moves and it helps me to rest and sleep and just come back into my center back into myself and that's where we are at our most powerful really right. and truly absolutely well, you spend your life going out into the world looking for something out there. And what you're looking for is in here. That's the pearl. That's the part of you. And you don't want to hold the pearl. You want to look at it and release it and not put another thing back there so you can stress out. It comes at you. Bring it in. Let it go. That's the only way you overcome. Some battles are just not worth fighting. You choose your battles. I choose not to fight. I don't want to. I can walk away from it and leave it with everybody else. They have to carry it. I'm happy not. Just, I'm happy just breathing. That's right. And we're moving all the time, whether we realize it or not. And everything is happening, and yet nothing is being left undone. And many times I have to think to myself, when I feel like nothing is happening, nothing is changing, and I have to realize that everything around me is changing, but we have to come back to our center, our balance. Well, and they just brought up, uh, we've had losses. We've all had losses. And uh, the doc and uh, uh, the psychic. Yes. Okay, let me talk to you. You now have a connection with relatives that can do more for you now than they ever could and be with you in times of stress. I completely believe that. I'm Native American. I know that my great grandmother taught me when I was up to five years old, but I learned more after because she was always teaching me. And I, I totally believe that because there's no way I should know the things I know. I don't know where it comes from. I just accept it. Yes. And that's what we should do in life. It's something new and it presents itself to you, accept it. Yes. Don't push it away. You're going to eventually learn. You teach what you want to learn and you learn what you want to teach. Yes. And when you look at things, I sent you a little text this morning. Uh, time doesn't matter. And uh, matter doesn't have time. So there's no sequence. Time is something we made up. Everything around us just happens. So if we get caught up in that, we're working equations that don't need to be worked. Equations that fall out and all the time. We make things harder than they really have to be. And being able to do this out here today in this beautiful day and this beautiful weather on this gazebo. And we have a bird's nest up here, so I'm just going to say it because there's no sense in us, you know, you guys hearing it, but it's it's a beautiful thing. And we are all one with everything. And so the joy of even having and, and being able to get into the sounds of nature, being out in nature as we are today to do this. So this absolutely worked out to be a great thing. And I'm gonna plug your book. Uh, <laughs> when she had asked us to read her book when we first got it, we were working at Toyota and uh, Mississippi. She sent it, I read it, and
and I really hadn't thought about your life being a resume. You have to write a resume of the things you've done in your life. But how many times do you look back and say, I learned this from this and I'm where I'm at because of these things. Exactly. Not in spite of them, but because of them. Um, I thought it was a novel thing and Carrie gets mad at me sometimes when I quote her book. <laughs> and say, you remember you said this. And, uh, so evidently you don't do that to authors. So. Well, yours is coming out, yeah, the coming God out, so. algorithm. Wait till I read it, and it's always great. I don't know. Some of you may be an author out there, but when you have to, when you write your book, and then people start reading it, and they put it back into your words, back into your face, you have to really start learning to talk the talk, not only walk the walk. And that's what I've had to learn and, and understand and go through. I thought I was walking the walk when I wrote the book. Obviously, I put the energy out to do it, but I was actually a conduit. I wrote the book, you know, through, but it came through me from my grandfather and other powers that be. And we are a conduit, but we have all this energy and we are wiser. We are stronger than we, than we know, as long as we're able to use the power of now, understand our energy and be able to relax and, and trust yeah. and trust within ourselves. And, uh, <laughs> The masters that I learned from, uh, they were the greatest guys in the world, the same. And I'll tell you the same thing. I know this works for me. It may not work for you, but find what works for you. If you can find a way to relax, whatever it takes, if it's in nature, it's reading a book, turn the TV off, listen to the radio, whatever it is, find that thing that works for you. Find that place that you can find balance so that nothing comes in unless you allow it. Then you're in control. Too many people today are not in control and they don't recognize it. They want to be in control and they're fighting to be in control. And the tighter you hold on and try to control something, what happens? Kind of like nailing jello to a tree. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. That is absolutely right. I love you and your, your, your little sayings and the things you come up with. You guys are going to want to come back and see what happens after this commercial break because Michael's going to show you exactly what happens when you pull your energy together and the power that you truly have. We'll be right back after this conversation. After this commercial. <laughs> we'll be back after this. We'll be back we'll after be this. We'll be we'll this right after back. Yeah, we'll be back or, or we'll be we'll be, we'll be right back. our energy to show absolutely how strong we really are. I don't recommend that you do this out on your own, but this is from an expert to show you absolutely all that we've talked about in this show, all the importance of how important it is to get ourselves back into balance and to understand our energy more effectively, that we are energy beings. We're strong beings. Right. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to, how to break a board. Um, this is to show your inner power and just to give you an idea of what you're, uh, what's possible for you. You shouldn't be able to break concrete boards or block, uh, bricks or boards and things like this, but yet you are. But it's only for energy transfer, the transfer from what you're striking to yourself and into it. There's not a trick to this. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, I mean, it just depends. You have to make sure you're in a good balanced place, your body's balanced, and you're ready to. Uh, do what you set out to do. A lot of times you break boards just to find out your own power and things or to do a breakthrough or to prove to yourself that you can do things that don't seem possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break the board just to show the energy levels and things. Uh, I've proven to myself several times that uh, 
if you're not ready, don't do it. And uh, so, and it's, this is always something in you. It's not the board, it's not the energy around you, it's the energy within you. And so we're gonna do this this time and show what it's like to transfer energy from yourself to uh, another object. I broke it with my palm. Yeah. yeah. Now I know that Lori didn't have you guys do that. Yes, she did. Oh, she had you break it with palm. That board was not broken. No, it wasn't. <laughs> and I just touched it. It's okay. That was the energy That's that the universe does in a relaxed state. This is what you have possible at all times. A lot of times when you overthink it, you screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> so don't let the universe beat you or the universe is not out to beat you the universe is there to work with you don't let yourself beat yourself <laughs> and that is how we roll right here he barely touched it and then a few minutes ago he broke this one in two and so this is how we roll this is how the universe works tell little Michael absolutely the universe works with you not against you we flow against the universe. We don't work with nature. We don't recognize what's around us. We're our own worst enemies. Take a breath, set yourself, relax, and move on. So Michael, tell us about your book and how we can get it and when it's gonna be out. It's coming out uh, this the end of this year and it will be The God Algorithm and we're editing it now. You'll find it on Amazon, on Cindy Dale's site, um, she, Carrie and I, we may have books on there together and things. Yes. It'll be easy enough to find. Enjoy it, read it. And I wrote the book not as a master at this. I want you to read it, look at it, and say, you know what, you missed something. Because I did. This is quantum physics. Tell me. I'll have my email address in there and I will answer them. So, yes. this is a learning experience. You teach what you want to learn, you learn what you want to teach. And today has been absolutely a fantastic day. I'm so glad to have my dear friends, Carla, and, and we went to school together, and Michael, and the fact that we have connected because that's how the universe works too. It brings the right people at the right time for the right reasons. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and we will see you again on the I Am Power Hour next week. So, guess what? That's right. Y'all come back now, you hear?